what's going on people guns blazing back at it again I bring you a cheap and consistent elegant my level 40 farming deck so that you can pick up that busted new amazonist card now with this deck we're taking full advantage of the 1000 point campaign bonus to get a full 8000 points you will need a few glossy points to get the full 8000 but not a lot only around 400 glossy slash prismatic points will do now, I see a lot of people using Vassal and Union Tag decks, and I'm just sitting here like, you don't need those, you know? You only need Vassal and Union Tag if you're not hitting 8,000 points without them. If you can get 8,000 without them, there's no point in going for more points, because there's no extra rewards, you're just sacrificing consistency when you have too many combo pieces. This deck right here, not a lot of combo pieces. Just enough to get 8,000, and the rest we're putting into making the deck more consistent with the Crystal Seers. And just a few ways to get a tribute summon off right off the bat. Another thing with this deck is that it's very cheap. There are no ultra or super rares from the packs for this one. Dynatherium you can pick up from PvP rewards. And Mausoleum you can get from the card trader. However, if you're such a pleb that you can't even get your hands on those. Just use whatever you can to allow you to get a level 6 hazy monster out on the board in one turn. So hazy glory, soul exchange, berlineth, all of those will work in place of mausoleum and dinatherium. Now in my farming deck for this video, I'll be using big bang shot instead of heated heart, simply because I have a glossy big bang shot, but both of these cards are fine and you can even use fairy meteor crush if you want. Okay, so let's move on to a couple of duels. Uh, first things first, if you're auto dueling with Mai to uh, get elegant Mai to spot on the board, she might not appear, I'm not sure. So you might have to switch between your auto dueler and your Mai Valentine if you're gonna use this farming deck because aroma strategy is only available on mine anyways this is what dinatherium is for you just special summon it with its own effect so that you can tribute summon the same turn get your periton or your hazy flame sphinx out here i'm just gonna establish the board even though i don't have beast rising yet once we have beast rising we have nothing to worry about but for now i'm just gonna establish a strong board so that she can't get her stuff rolling so she's gonna set a monster in defense position uh, I'm going to pop Hazy Flame Sphinx to mill cards off the top of my deck so that I can draw into a Beast Rising sooner than later. Even though I don't get to special summon any monsters with a Sphinx effect. Uh, attacking the bird face and whatever face down she sets so that she can't tribute out for a swift Birdman Joe. Just going to keep doing that. Uh, Aroma Strategy lets me know that Beast Rising is the next card so I'm not going to mill out anymore. I'm just going to wait to draw into it gonna keep attacking the face downs because once again we don't want that swift birdman joe to appear because it can attack over our hazies she's gonna go ahead and use her monster gate that's fine picking up that bordo face and she has a phalanx pike so she can attack into our cerberus that's fine as long as we have a sphinx on the board we should be good to go uh, I kind of misplayed here by using Sir Beers to pull something. Don't do that when your Beast Rising is right on top. Uh, luckily, Beast Rising still stays on top after the shuffle. Even though I played like an animal, the deck came through, heart of the cards. So at this point, I'm just going to start benishing all my other hazies to pump up one hazy on the board so that I can have enough attack to get 10,000 in a single attack. Uh, keep in mind that Periton is not a beast. Or a Beast Warrior, so you can't use it with Beast Rising. So don't summon a Hazy Flame Periton in the hopes that you're going to use Beast Rising with it. That's not going to happen. It's a Pyro-type monster. Anyways, yeah, I'm just going to keep summoning. Putting on the Sphinx. Currently at 9,700 right now. So, there should be exactly enough monsters to get your hazy flame sphinx to over 10,000 all the cerberuses the hazy flame sphinxes and even the dinatherium if you manage to use mausoleum to get them out instead of your uh instead of what's his face dinatherium to tribute summon it out anyways this was kind of scary because you can use spiritual wind art miyabi on big bang shot but it's fine because it just returns it to the top of the deck, and the Big Bang Shot effect to banish the Hazy Flame Sphinx doesn't happen because it was chained. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you don't want if you don't want this to happen. It's not a big deal. All it does is make me wait another turn before I go in for the finishing blow. So I'm just gonna pop the anti-magic arrows here for the extra prismatic points. Hit up his lowest defense monster, and that's gonna be over 10,000 damage. And that does get me over 8,000 points. 
with the help of a few glossy and prismatic points. So yeah, if you don't want that big bang shot shenanigans happen to you, just use Heated Heart since it's not an equip, it's just a normal spell that gives one of your monsters piercing for the rest of the turn. But again, it's not that big of a deal. So fortunately, the AI is a potato and she decides to use Harpy's Hunt Ground to destroy itself, meaning that we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the duel. I'm just going to go ahead and set my Crystal Seer. And this is going to allow me to pick up my Beast Rising. And after that, it's going to be all set because we have Dinotherium, a way to get our uh, Hazy Flame Sphinx out. And we have Beast Rising already. So it should be smooth sailing from here. When she does have Harpy's Hunting Ground, you kind of do have to be worried if she uh, destroys your Beast Rising. But that's okay because we have multiple copies. What you do want to do in that scenario is that you want to ensure that Beast Rising gets at least one effect off before she can uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground. That way you have a monster on the board that's higher attack than anything that she has plus Phalanx Pike. And then you can just wait, wait for your next Beast Rising to come through. So yeah, it's just the same thing. We're just going to keep using Hazy Flame Sphinx to mill out the top card, call it correct with Aroma Strategy. Then use it to pump up the Sphinx until it's at a respectable amount, over 10,000. Almost there. And like, you don't even have to summon a monster if you don't have any available. You can just use the Hazy effect to just drop cards off the top of your deck to make the farm faster. Here I'm Tribute Summoning for my next Hazy, getting this over 10,000. Milling out the last one. Don't even have to call the correct card. Anti-Magic Arrows, Big Bang Shot. Attack the lowest defense position monster. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and sub to my channel if this helped you out. I will always be trying to give you the most consistent and cheapest farming decks. So that, you know, every time a new event comes out, you know where to go. Other mans may be rushing to get you farm decks as soon as possible. Me, I try to take a little more time researching so that I can give you the cheapest and most consistent decks. Right here on this channel. Have yourselves a good one. And this is Guns Blazing, signing out. I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. Jodeci cry for you. Do things when you want me to. Like controller, controller. Like controller, controller